time on Dual Destinies. I'm Apollo Justice, and I want you to stay in school. Is that really what we're going with? Is that really the line? Isn't summer about to start? Or did okay? Anyway. <clears throat> In case you missed anything, let's fill you in on this case. Our investigation into Professor Court's murder left us with more questions than answers, regarding a treacherous love triangle and a bloody all. Then the prosecution dug us even deeper with an incriminating recording. But it's all good, because Athena is leading the defense this time around, which means I get to sit back and laugh at her mistake. I mean, offer support and advice. <laughs> the trial continues on Dual Destinies, next. You could at least pretend to be upset for me. A splendid job, Fool Blight. That could not be any clearer. Feel free to anticipate a salary raise next month. Ha 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 ha! I don't do this for the money! It's all about justice! Injustice we trust! Hmm. Not only a half-wit, but a perennial stick in the mud you are. I guess neither the carrot nor the stick works on Detective Fulbright. Now, Bailiff, please bring our next witness to the stand. Oh, come on! Already?! So, our uh, first witness is a cardboard box? Stealth mode deactivated. Oh my, the box has hands. Smile, Your Honor. What in the name of beard? I've just had my picture taken. Miriam Skettlebutt. Senior at the Legal Academy. I'm a reporter on the judge course. Juniper's been a bad, bad girl. I'll tell you all about her crime. Um, might I ask whether you could come out of that box? How will I get any more scoops if I blow my cover? So the answer is no. After all, covert action is an undercover reporter's bread and butter. Ham, uh, but testimony from a faceless witness is highly irregular. Bah! A former ninja I met in the clink said that exposing those who work in the shadows is to pass the death sentence upon them. Oh my! I never thought of it that way. Very well. If it will save a life, I suppose I could make an exception this time. A former ninja in prison? Holy Shinto! How can the judge believe this load of croc? Now, your testimony, please. Oh, but take care not to reveal your face. The murder happened exactly like Juniper's mock trial script. Up until the mock trial began, only Prof Court and Juniper knew the script's content. But Prof Court's sudden decision not to use the script sparked Juniper's murderous rage. Juniper has to be the killer. She has a motive in the murders just like her script. The murder is just like her script? Could such a thing be true? Compare her script with the murder case in the crime scene photos. Then you'll see. This is so simple, even an ape posing as a decrepit old judge could understand. Only the victim and the defendant were privy to the script. Ergo, the defendant is the killer. Furthermore, in the art room where the crime supposedly occurred, this witness's script, along with an envelope on which use was written, were found. This proves that the accused script had been rejected the day before the mock trial. 
She pressed the victim to use her script. An argument ensued, and then the fatal stabbing. Mm, that makes perfect sense. But now... Prosecutor Blackwill has all his ducks lined up in a row. He's really on a roll now. Uh, he's like a pit bull once it sinks its teeth into you. How dare she! My script had it all! A bum rap and phony evidence, grudges and betrayals! Hmm, I trust the defense is ready to cross-examine the witness. N no problem. I, I mean, yes, I'm ready. I think. Time to find a hole in her testimony and unbox the truth! I've seen it done over and over. I know I can do this. Hold it! Somebody could have stolen a pink beforehand. I don't think so. I mean, I tried any number of times. Shame on you, Miriam. But that crafty she-devil Juniper has eyes in the back of her head. What chance does your average person have if an undercover reporter like me failed? Interesting point. Still... Miss Scuttlebutt, won't you get in trouble later for admitting to such underhanded tactics? Why, you... I plead entrapment! How is you blurting out your own crime entrapment? But you haven't scooped me yet. We were all set to use Juniper's script. Hold it! How do you know that Professor Court wasn't going to use her script? Hmm. There in the art room where the heinous crime took place. An envelope marked use and Miriam Scuttlebutt's script were found. Evidently, the script that was going to be used belonged to the girl in the box over there. It's only natural that my script would be accepted and hers rejected. I introduced all sorts of brand new concepts, including bribery and fake evidence. It was a cutting-edge script portraying a courtroom battle in the Dark Age of Law. I can't help but feel Professor Court went out of her way not to use it. Juniper, she used some devious underhanded tactics to get her script chosen. That's why her script, and not my masterpiece, was used in the mock trial. How's that for an explanation? OBJECTION! That statement- ah! You're wrong. No. You're wrong, 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 wrong. That's not right. You're wrong. Why does it feel like everything's going just slightly faster? Let's try that again. Hold it! Anyone who saw the mock trial could have recreated the crime. After they saw the mock trial, they could have easily staged the body just like the script. OBJECTION! Hmm. Where is the trial which pits Hawk against Canary? OBJECTION! What, what, what did you just say? <laughs> if he's so weary, he should try humping less. I bet that'd save some energy. This is no time for jokes, Apollo! He just called me a canary! Ah, don't let him get to you. At least canaries pick up on things quickly, just like you. I shan't repeat myself, so listen carefully, Sykes Dono. Hugh O'Connor discovered the body before the mock trial even began. How could one stage the body as it is in the script before anyone knew its contents? Uh, that's right. Do you even fathom the intricacies that go into staging a crime scene? No, I think not. You have the rudimentary mind of an elementary school child. Elementary school? Reporter's testimony throws attorney Athena Sykes for a loop. The perfect caption. How marvelous! A photo in the newspaper is just the thing to boost your brand. If anyone even reads newspapers anymore. In a school paper? Seriously? 
Anyone can see the similarities between the script and this case. But that doesn't mean Junie's the killer! I know it's frustrating, Athena, but we don't have much to go on at this point. All you can do now is mercilessly badger the witness until they mess up. Okay, got it. Press relentlessly. Right! Hold it! There must be places where the script in this case diverge. Uh, don't sweat the details. That kind of stress will give you wrinkles. Objection! I'm not worried. My skin is as fair as silk. Objection! Hmm. Indeed, you are quite fair. Fairly desperate. <laughs> <laughs> Objection! What, what did you just say? <laughs> Black will really turn that one around what on you. Side, are you <laughs> on? Hurry up and think of a clever comeback. Whoa, easy there, Athena. Sheesh. Now you listen to me. The two cases do indeed have their differences. For one, the stage hadn't yet been erected in the mock trial script. And in the actual case, there were signs indicating the victim's wrists had been bound. But such differences pale in comparison to the host of similarities. In any event, replicating the crime without knowledge of the script is an impossibility. Hmm. Looks like I won't be passing this off as a coincidence. What a total burn! Try again, why don't you, pawn of woods? I believe you've pressed the witness more than enough, Miss Sykes. Hmm. Now do you see how clear-cut my case is? Take it now, and in that fair, desperate mind of yours, itch it deep so you may never forget. No. No! Even my arguments get thrown back in my face. It wasn't supposed to be like this. What am I going to do? Athena, you should just have about all the answers you've been looking for now. Huh? Think about it this way. If the killer knew the details of the mock trial, would they really commit the crime in the exact same way? I don't follow. Try to place yourself in the killer's shoes. I bet you'll discover an inconsistency if you do. Uh, I get it! Grazie, Apollo. Miss Scuttlebutt, just so we're clear, you're claiming that the killer intentionally made the crime scene look just as it was in the script. And that it is beyond the shadow of a doubt, not a coincidence. Is that correct? No, duh. After all, it's just more evidence of Juniper's evil she-devil ways. OBJECTION! <laughs> what I say? what I say? Our client made the crime scene look just like the script, something known only to her. That would be not just foolhardy, but completely irrational! What do you mean? Yes, Miss Sykes. Please tell the court what you mean by irrational. It wouldn't make sense for Junie to mimic her own script on purpose because it would... The murder scene was the same as it was in the mock trial script. That in and of itself is irrational. <laughs> What's wrong with them being the same? Yes, Miss Sykes. Can you explain what you mean? Okay, let's say for argument's sake that Miss Woods is the killer. If so, then... What reason would she have to intentionally make the actual murder mimic her own script? That's easy. She was admitting that she was the... <laughs> That's right. If she had really done that... It would have been like proclaiming to the world that she was the killer. So what 
What we actually have here is evidence of someone trying to frame our client. Uh, 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 the body was found the day of the mock trial. In short, the day the details were revealed. So it would be completely inconceivable for the murder to go exactly like the script. <laughs> Don't let it go to your head just yet! Hmm. It would seem just as Dono's comrade in arms has finally drawn her sword. However, the blade is dull, and it shall remain so until you master its use. Enough with the stupid sword metaphors already! There is a perfectly good reason for the inconsistency of what you speak. Reason? What reason? Must I spell out everything? Hm. You are what people today call high maintenance. The accused had intended to stop the mock trial, and in that event, Mary Assault would have been the wiser to the similarities of the case and the script. Objection! No. The mock trial was only stopped after the body was accidentally discovered. Objection! Hmm. A witness here had also discovered the body. In fact, she was led to our dearly departed professor by the accused herself. What? Miss Scuttlebutt saw the body too! Precisely. In with the discovery of the body, the mock trial ought to have been cancelled. Wait, so you didn't call the police? Nope. I kept it a secret for my big scoop. You can't do that. Hmm. I made her pay hard and long penance for her sin. Did I not, my little box top? Compared to the work of a war correspondent, the sheer terror of that was... Jeez, I wonder what that twisted samurai did to her. Lock off all the holes in her box and spin her like a top while Detective Fulbright cackled in delight? That sounds more nauseating than scary. Enough jabbering. Witness, continue your testimony. Sure, Mr. Samurai. I'm ready to finish off that she-devil. I snuck into Juniper's dressing room while everyone was in the lecture hall. Juniper had changed into her stage costume. I asked her, what are you doing? When suddenly, she fled into the hallway as if she wanted me to follow her. I followed her all the way to Prof Court's body. She led me right to it. I'm positive it was Juniper because she was wearing the costume that she had made. Hold it! Why did you withhold such key testimony? Gah! What's that supposed to mean? Th Athena, you haven't even started your cross-examination. I know, but her testimony points to her as being a potential suspect. Well, I don't think Prosecutor Blackwell is... No, wait. I bet he's already thought of that. The witness left the lecture hall to sneak into Ms. Wood's room before the mock trial. That means she too could have moved the victim's body. <laughs> the prosecution's claim no longer has any ground to stand on. Now, now, no need to ruffle your own feathers, so... When you squeak like a little brat, it agitates Tonka. Do you want him to peck your eyes out? No thanks! You listen here. The witness has a perfectly good alibi. Oh yeah, I do! Around the estimated time of death. 
I was an undercover reporter class. It's right near my home. Undercover reporter class? The proverbial rug has been pulled from under you. The witness could not be the killer. The defense must look before leaving. At least make sure the rug's secured to the floor. I tried to warn you. Oh. Well, there ends the cross-examination. It's allowed the witness to step down. Huh? No, wait a minute! The defense has no right to cross-examine the witness after that little spectacle. For whatever a man is sowing, this he will also reap. Mm, why can't he say you reap what you sow? Hmm, very well. If the cross-examination is over, I suppose the witness may go home. Perhaps spend some time in her lovely box and recover from today's stressful events. Don't you worry about me, Your Honor. There's no rest for the wicked. Or journalists, either. My third eye's always eyeing a scoop. She's always eyeing a scoop? Well, back to the trenches. Bye bye Hold it! Not so fast, Miss Scuttlebutt. Uh, Apollo? There's just one thing I'd like to ask. Did you take a picture of the victim's body? And if not, why not? I... well... that is... No, I... Uh, I didn't take one. Well, that's strange. Why wouldn't you take a picture if you're always eyeing a scoop? <laughs> Did you or didn't you really see the victim's body? <laughs> uh, it's not like I uh, actually saw it, saw it, but... Did you hear that, Your Honor? The witness didn't actually see the body. That completely overturns the prosecution's claim that the witness was led to it. Justice, Domo. You dare bear stealing me again? Nice try, boy wonder. So what if I didn't see the body? The fact remains that Juniper led me there. Feast your eyes on this! What exactly am I looking at here? It's a crucial moment, forever frozen in time by my third eye. A photo clearly showing Juniper Woods. Gah! Why did you not tell me of this? It's a shocking scoop I was saving for just the right moment. And that would be right now, right here in court. Surprise! <laughs> what I do? What I do? All journalists keep their scoop secret until the right moment. She's pretty brave hiding it from Blackwell like that. Or pretty stupid. Well, this is an unexpected turn. Uh, Athena? About this picture. See how it only shows the back of the subject? So then... Right. Who knows whether this photo shows Juniper in the first place? Objection! Hmm. A completely irrelevant point. What is relevant here is... There was someone who did try to lead the witness to the body. Take a gander at this. The route at which the accused escaped. The witness pursued the accused this way after she fled the dressing room. The accused descended to the first floor and exited a quad. Recall that the body was already there for Hugh O'Connor had already seen it. 
She was trying to show someone the body because she wanted to stop the mock trial. Uh. Hold it! But if the facts have changed, that's all the more reason to cross-examine the witness. Hmm. The defense has a point there. Hmm. Very well. You may proceed with your cross-examination. Hmm. It seems Justice Dono has saved your pretty little hide, Missy. For now, at least. Phew. I guess I pulled that off somehow. Thanks, Apollo. You're a lifesaver. Incidentally, my compliments to the witness for her very fine box. <laughs> it's Primo Cardboard, lovingly selected from among many. <laughs> Tell another lie or hide another fact from me. And I shall put it to the torch. I think it would be more eco-friendly to recycle it, but that's just me. All right, Miss Sykes, you may cross-examine the witness. Objection! Miss Scuttlebutt's sole basis for identifying our client as the figure in this photo is the fact that it shows someone in Miss Woods' stage costume. Well, it is Juniper's costume, so that must be Juniper in it. It's clear-cut. No, that's where you're completely mistaken. What? This is a design drawing of our client's stage costume. Oh my, what a wonderful creation! The constellations are extraordinary! I'm glad you noticed. Because those stars are precisely what's important here. In the drawing, there are constellations all over the outside of the costume. But there's not a single star on the costume in the photo. Oh, uh, then that means... Uh, uh, what exactly? Your Honor, there were no other blue costumes at the scene. Which leads me to believe... And that the figure in the photo was wearing our client's costume inside out. Huh, but why would Miss Woods make a mistake like that? Well, it's not really a matter of why. But rather, who made the mistake of putting it on inside out? <laughs> Wait, you're not suggesting... That's right. I'm glad you're catching on. The costume's designer wouldn't put her own costume on inside out! Let's do a project!